Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell and today I thought it would be so fun to do a little bit of a hair transformation. So I was going through some PR the other day and this is what I found. This is from Insert Name Here. They have tons of different like hair extensions, hair accessories, hair ponytails, like all kinds of things. But I recently wore one of their ponytails. It's called the Shayla. It's like a curly pony. Oh my gosh, I have never gotten so many compliments in all my life. So I was so excited when I opened up the mail and I saw this one. This is called the Chloe and it's in dark brown. And because the Chloe looks like this hairstyle right here, this is a hairstyle that I wear all of the time. I love pulling my hair back off my face. So I thought what a fun way would it be to amp up a style that I already love. We're gonna break it open and see if I can transform this hair into something a little more luscious, a little more long, a little more glam, and a little more out of this world, so let's go. Before we jump into this fun hair transformation, I do wanna thank Dossier for partnering with me on this small portion of today's video. You guys know it's my favorite time of the month. Dossier, if you've never heard of them, then you probably are not a subscriber of my channel, so you should probably go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. This is a luxury inspired perfume brand, so they have all of your favorite luxurious scents that you can find at retail stores for very, very pricey prices for a fraction of the cost. So I love to save money. When I discovered Dossier, I just fell in love. So today I'm gonna open up the two boxes that I have here in my hand. This one is the scent Ambery Vanilla. What I love is that it comes with a little insert, talks all about your fragrance that you purchased. This one is uh, inspired by YSL Opium Perfume, which is a perfume that I absolutely love. I actually already have this one in my collection, so I got this one for my daughter. But this little insert talks all about your perfume. It talks about the notes in it. I always like to just like spray a little bit on the insert to get a whiff of it. If for any reason you don't like the fragrance that you purchased, you can send it back for a full refund or exchange for something else. I just love it. Literally smells exactly like YSL Opium. You get a full 50 milliliters, so this will last you quite a while. And my favorite thing about Dossier is that these fragrances last. Then I have Ambery Vel, is this Velveteer? Vetiver. I can't remember if I have tried this one. I don't think I've tried this one. The notes are bergamot, lemon, uh, orange blossom, marigold, violet. Oh, oh my gosh, this smells incredible. And even on the little insert, it says, our mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price, giving you the freedom to explore new scents. And that is exactly what it does. Because you're not breaking the bank, you can buy multiple scents. If you want a daytime fragrance, then you can get a daytime fragrance and not break the bank. Then you can also have your nighttime, your date night fragrance. I do have a discount code, so definitely take advantage of that extra savings. As always, I'll have everything linked in the description box so that you can check them out for yourself, including the two scents that I just shared with you because they're both amazing. Right. I'm going to get some scissors to open this up and we are going to pray that I can figure out how to put this on. Again, this is the Chloe and I'll insert a picture right here of what the Chloe style looks like. And I was really excited because when I got the Shayla Pony um, in dark brown, the dark brown was literally the perfect color to match my hair here is what she is looking like. And it looks so stinking pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. This looks like uh, like it was curled with like a one inch barrel. It's really beautiful, kind of looser waves. So I'm not sure if this will blend really well with my hair, but we will find out. This is all of the section that is supposed to go from here down. And then you have this separate section that is supposed to be the ponytail section. So let me open this part up. I might need to take my sweater off for this. I feel like I'm about to sweat. So here is this part. I might, should probably pull up a video on this. No, you know what? We're just, we're just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down. And my hair actually needs to be washed like 
really, really bad. Should I pull it from behind my ears just to make it like a little more dramatic? Pull this. Gosh, my shoulder hurts. If you didn't know, the reason that I haven't been on YouTube for the last almost month is because I had shoulder surgery and I will update you guys on all of that in another video. But I am still recovering and I'm just now able to like lift my arm. So that's why I haven't been spending any time with y'all. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in this pony, but I just wanted to kind of like redo it since I did it so messily earlier. I feel like maybe even doing like a little bit of a pomade. I'm gonna go in with this molded shaping balm from Pai Shao. This is just gonna help kind of lay all those little baby hairs down. Ooh, I gotta take this sweater off. I am sweating. Now I've got this, but this needs to kind of stay out of the way. So now we can work with the back. You can see the little incisions on my shoulder. One, two, three. That's where I had my surgery. Okay, let's start with, there's three wefts. I'm just going to kind of go just like I would if I was like putting in my regular, you know, extensions. Okay, I'm gonna put this up. Okay, so now I have this part right here. So this is a little three weft. Hopefully this even fits. Okay, this should fit. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here, that right there, that right there. Ooh! Now I'm going to pick this half up put a weft there. The goal, hopefully, is that these will cover my natural curls so that it doesn't look crazy because I know this is not gonna blend with my natural hair. So, this is another three clip weft. We're gonna go here, go here, go there. So there is that. Okay. Oh boy. We're getting there. The last one is a four clip, so I'm just gonna go like right here and hopefully that will cover the whole back of my hair. Gosh, I really hope this works. Now, we're gonna go here. There, all the way over, and right there. Okay. So, then I'm just letting down that other part of my hair. All right, now, now we take this piece, which hopefully will cover most of my curls. This has a little clip on it right here. I am just going to clip that right in front of that pony. This honestly would probably work so much better if I had my hair straight, but that's okay. We're gonna roll with it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of like finagle it around that ponytail. I actually should probably flip. Take, where is it? This piece right here, and you wrap it around that ponytail. I'm gonna take this little piece that's left over right here. Take a little bobby pin, pin that underneath of the ponytail, and I'm just kind of like feeling around to where it would be. Are we looking good? I can't even see anything in here. How is this looking? Is it covering my ponytail? That's the biggest thing. Okay, let me go in the bathroom and see if I can check this and see how it's looking, because I can't see anything in here. Okay, so I had to go into the bathroom so that I could see a little bit better and redo this top part. Now that I redid the top part, it looks so much better. This obviously would look really, really good if my hair was straight and curled and it matched the, um, the curl of the extensions better. But for like a super quick, like throw it in and see how it looks, I mean, this isn't bad, y'all. Like, let me turn around so that you can see. Obviously, you can still see some of my, my natural curls because I didn't try it all. Like, this was, this is like fifth day hair and I'm about to wash it tonight. But, like, let me show you. Like, that does not look bad. I feel like it looks really, really cute. These are just so fun. Like, look at this. I just feel like... 
Rapunzel or like a mermaid. Oh my gosh. What do we think of the Chloe? I, I just think these are so stinking fun to try to change up your look in a very, very quick way. Especially with like the Shayla, cause you don't have to do anything. You literally just put your hair in a slick bun and then the ponytail is like the hair. You know what I'm saying? So you're not having to blend your hair with anything. This would be so fun for like a fun event or party. Oh my gosh. And honestly, I've been really feeling like changing up my hair a lot lately. So I was even thinking about possibly like trying a wig here soon. I don't know, but I'm just like getting to that point where I just want to look, I, I just want to look a little different. I get bored very easily and I've had the same look for a little while now, so it's time to spice it up a little bit. It's very affordable too. I'll leave it linked in the description box if you guys are interested in checking out any of the pieces. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.